Spirit is alive and well here in Tempe. We just finished the opening ceremony. They did an amazing job. And I would like to introduce... Hi, my name is Keha Christman, and I'm Kumuhula of a halau called Halau Hula Nakua Kalei Lima. We're based in uh, Central Arizona, but we have all of our students coming from Central and Northern Arizona. And we've been here 12 and a half years. I, I come straight from Hawaii to, to here, and when we I got here, it was a real decision maker to start a halau here after all I'm in the middle of the desert in the middle of Arizona but um, with my husband's encouragement we decided to give it a go and I was really quite amazed at the at the uh, interest first and then how they really got into the spirit of of hula here in the middle of Arizona amazing amazing it is it's just really incredible I'm so thankful so thankful that there's so many people here who really love that part of Hawaii that's Absolutely. so much a part of me. Absolutely. Your passion and your halal's passion definitely shows through. Um, and what does hula mean to you? Oh, we have a saying in our halal, in our hula lineage, that hula is life. There is no other answer. It becomes everything that's part of our lives, and, and uh, we just live it every day. It's, it's everything about us. Amazing, wonderful. Well, thank you so much. We like thank to you. end our interviews with a little shaka. Mm -hmm. oh, you guys want to throw the shaka? Oh. All right. Thank you. The, the, the topic of that workshop was, you know, you guys should write a song for your Aloha Arizona Aloha Festival because it's it happens every year, and we should be commemorating things that are happening in our present day because it's good to sing the traditional songs, but. We have to pass this on to the next generation. So I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I looked at somebody else. Everybody's looking at me. I said, hello. No, it's not going to happen. I'm a dancer. I'm not a composer. So I just let it pass. And, and you know, I just let it pass. And last year, September of last year, I had the opportunity to go to the North Rim of the Grand Canyon. Have any of you been there? North Rim, North Rim Grand Canyon. What a magical place. And on the way up, it's a long drive up there. On the way up, I started hearing this tune I'd never heard before. And I said, oh, what is this? You know, and they have a little few words here, you know, just like maka maka here, hui here, I didn't know what it was. So I said, I think this is how, you ever heard of people, uh, composers, they say, oh, I had this song come to me. And I had to write it down on a paper napkin. Do you ever hear this? Do you see that? Well, I didn't have a paper napkin, but I did have a smartphone with a voice memo thing on it. So I pressed my red button and I started <laughs> I just humming the tune just so I could save it. And by the end of that weekend in Grand Canyon, I had the two verses had just come to me. Still on the tour of the Ohana Village, which is right across the way there. It's where the canoes are. And if you pass by the Keiki Makin tent, you'll see little kids making all the different things, the handcrafts that they make. This is little kids. And then look around, you all of these people in these bright green shirts. They give their time, they're volunteers. They give their time up from their heart every every year. So I want to clarify that this song, even though it is written in Hawaiian, it's for all of us. It's for all of us from uh, all of us island nations from the Pacific. So not just Hawaii. Yeah. We're all from Micronesia, from Melanesia, from Polynesia and Asia. We all gather here together every year at the Arizona Aloha Festival to share our culture. So this is our song. 